Hi, this is Michael Keller, and today I'm going to give a demonstration on our overpressure protection on our differential pressure transmitter. So the system I've got here, I've got an EJA110E, just standard DP transmitter, uh, a medium range capsule, and then I've got it uh, installed so that there's a series of manifolds so that we can isolate the transmitter, charge you know one side of the transmitter, the low side of the transmitter, with a high pressure to simulate an overpressure incident and then I can vent it and bring it back to kind of the steady state where it is right now where it's creating zero differential pressure. So I've got all this set up and we'll go through how to orient these valves, but also I've got it hooked um, through piping to a hydrostatic hand pump and then I have an EJA530E that will show us how much pressure, um, again, we're putting on just the low side of that transmitter. Okay, so we wanna close that isolation valve on the low side. And then we want to close that equalize valve on the top. Okay, so we're going to charge the system with pressure. So we'll begin pumping the hydrostatic hand pump. Getting up there quickly. See, we're already over a thousand PSI. I'll close this valve to hold the pressure on the system. Again, the transmitter is alarming, telling you there's something going wrong. We have an overpressure situation. So I'm gonna kind of to put this system back, you know, to to quit that overpressure incident. I'm gonna do the reverse. So I'm gonna first open this valve on the hydrostatic hand pump, and then I'm gonna open the isolation valve. So you can hear that that water venting, and then I'm gonna open again that equalized valve. There's still some more water venting. Or drain and then the system should come back to zero and you can see the transmitter goes right back to zero DP um, back into to perfect operation thank you for this demo and uh, we'll talk to you soon